Hi students, today I am going to explain how to use the Verne Khalifa. So in the Verne Khalifa, we have a two scales. One is the main scale, it is centimeter. The another is we have a Verne scale. So here, so n divisions in the Verne scale. So here we have a 10 lines, 10 divisions in the Verne scale. It is exactly coincided with the 9 divisions in the main scale. So now I am going to define what is mean by least count. So least count is the minimum reading which can be accurately measured with this Taylor Khalifa. So now I am going to explain how to calculate the least count. The main scale is in centimeter. It starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 1 centimeter. The separation between each line is in millimeter. So we have another scale, it's called your Vernier scale. So in the Vernier scale, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have a 10 divisions in the Vernier scale. So this is called your Vernier scale reading, and this is nothing but your main scale reading. So, the n divisions on the Vernier scale, on the Vernier scale reading is exactly coincided with the n minus 1 divisions on the main scale reading. So, now I am going to define what is mean by least count. So, the least count is equals to the smallest reading on the main scale divided by the number of divisions on the vernier scale. This is the smallest reading in the main scale. I can simply write 1 millimeter divided by 10 divisions. That is equals to 0 0.1 millimeter. This is equals to 0 0.01 centimeter. So now I am going to explain how to use this Verne Califer. So first I am going to construct a table, main scale reading, vernier scale coincidence and uh, the total reading equals to the main scale reading plus vernier scale coincidence into the least count. Now I am going to explain how to find the width of this object using the Verde caliper. Now I am going to place my object here Then I have to tie it. Now the reading on the main scale is 1.7 and then now I am going to Calculate the vernier scale coincidence. The third line of the vernier scale is exactly coincides with the main scale. So my main scale reading is 1.7. My vernier scale coincidence is 3. So now I am going to calculate the width of this object using my table. So we have main scale reading is 1.7 centimeter and then when the scale coincidence is 3 then now I am going to calculate the total scale reading is 1.7 plus the when the scale coincidence is 3 into 0 0.01 centimeter so I may write 1.7 plus 0 0.03 
This is nothing but 1.73 centimeter. So this is the width of the that object. So this is how we are going to calculate width of the any object using the Vernier caliper. So I just stop at this point.